Welcome back, this is Cam Cowboy here with another video. And, well, now we're going to be talking about level 30. So, level 30 plus guide to stats. There really is no like different differentiation with level 30. It's going to be very quick. I'm just going to show you my account. Show you different options of a level 30. So, Level 30 now, I think the minimum requirement is you need to have Demon Hunter. Now if you're a free to play, maybe you don't have complete Demon Hunter and that's fine. But you could, with the extreme low cost of it and the ability to get the scrolls uh, for free, you should at least have several pieces of Demon Hunter and working on getting that 6 piece. Now, medium tier spenders, go ahead and plus that 5 that immediately, without question. Um, now, if you're going to be above and beyond, maybe think about Retribution. Maybe not because it sucks. But there's going to be new gear coming out. It's actually in Koa Beta. Um, it's coming out soon for King of Avalon. And since we're about several months behind, it'll be at least, in my best guess, it's going to be maybe three months before we start seeing that new gear come out. And to show you how ridiculous this is, this new gear is double the cost of Retribution. Retribution costs 8,000 US dollars to craft and enhance to plus 5. And that's $8,000 if you already have Demon Hunter plus 5. Yeah, I'm not doing Retribution. And yeah, I'm not doing this new gear. Thanks, Guns of Glory, but I'm sorry. I'm drawing the line here. Now, if we're going to be talking about level 30s at um, this level, I'd say the lowest you can go as far as gemstones go is going to be hope at level 5. Moving up from this, justice is going to be the way to go if you're going to be a mid-tier spender, and if you're a high-tier spender, it's plus 6. That's not much of a question. However, keep in mind, in a couple of weeks, we will be getting a new update. In this new update, we will be getting new gemstones. And the gemstones, if you take a look at King Babylon, they're pretty similar to the stats and the way that the parts for the airship work out. Same with uh, the bundles for buying them. You buy the fragments and then you work your way up uh, from there. So I think it'll be a great opportunity to get some new gemstones. Um, it's going to be expensive, no doubt in my mind expensive but it'll be fun I, I, I'm, I'm really interested and I'm looking forward to seeing them so moving forward from the gemstones we're gonna go ahead and get into the airship as a level 52 I highly recommend that you are at least at that uh, airship level 52 or uh, 53 my bad level 53 airship and this will ensure that you have pretty much all but one of your airship parts uh, unlocking the level 20 third option. This will also be able to get you some of your abilities above level 21 and it's going to give you a lot of great stats and stats are extremely important when you're working with T10s. So I highly recommend that that's what you're aiming for and that should be like a bottom line kind of deal right there. you know. It shouldn't really be a question of, can I go any lower than 51? It should be a question of, how high can I go above level 51? If you take a look, I stopped at level 65. In my opinion, I could go higher. However, that's just a lot of money that I'm throwing at this. Um, so I don't really think that going up well above level 65 is going to be quite worth the cost. But that's my honest opinion about this. So level 52 is a great starting point. As far as lower level goes, now we're starting to get into a slightly different thing. We're going to start wanting to go for battlefield treatment. It's going to be the like life preserver, whatever Guns of Glory calls the talent. They call it life preserver as well, so you get 30% extra battlefield treatment. So if you're going into a really tight KE battle or KVK battle, go ahead and pop this bad boy on and Hope that some of your troops might come home now. 
Um, as far as guards go, a lot of the things that you saw, minus like the premium guards previously, so like having the purple guards and getting purple guards at at least like three stars is going to be like a benchmark. You could easily get away with having some green guards still. However, I highly recommend that you are striving for those purple plus uh, three stars, maybe even some of the hot guards, some of the new guards. And I kind of mentioned that in my latest, my last video for the level 26 to 29 range. Now, as far as troop formation goes, I'm pretty much just going to show you guys what my troop formation looks like. And this is going to be unbuff. This is going to be, you know, nothing fancy. I'm not going to show you what my T11s look like. I'm just going to show you what my T10s and down look like. So, this is not right. Maybe, no, that's not right either. Maybe it's this one? No, that's definitely not right. Alright, so my uh, March setup is quite well messed up, but who cares? So I'm just going to talk you all through this. You're going to want a very well balanced March. You're going to want take your March capacity. So mine is 232,000. This is without Madame Lenoya on. This is without a whole bunch of things. However, it's fine. I could be marching 300,000 by the time I'm all said and done with boosting and buffing up. So even if I do set up my march, it really doesn't matter. I have to set up my march every single time I march someone because it fluctuates so much at this point. But you're going to want a good healthy amount. I know you have at least like 200,000 in your march capacity. So go ahead and put 30,000 T10 infantry, T10 cav, T10 bowmen, or distance I should say. My apologies. Then from there, we're going to want 10,000 to 15,000 of your T9s. And that's down the line, T9 infantry, T9 cavalry, and T9 distance. Um, I'm going to recommend that you have around 7,500 to 10,000 for the distance. That should be your range. As we move down to T8s, I'm going to recommend maybe 5,000, and then maybe like 2,500 for distance. You'll notice distance is going to be higher in the top tier, so let's put that around like thirty to 40,000, and then lower in the lower tiers, and then keep going down. As you go down, you want lower numbers, and then pretty much cap it off around 1,000 as your lowest that you'll go, and you go all the way down to T3s. Include T3s. Do not include T2s. And I would highly recommend this kind of march setup where you go all the way down and you got every single type of troop because you march, your lower tier troops are going to die first, keeping your higher tier troops alive. You're going to have the good uh, mar met, uh, setup between your lights and your heavies or your different types of the infantry, different types of the distance, and different types of the cavalry, which will help increase your, and you know, strengthen your numbers. It's kind of like having carbon fiber. It's a weave of fibers and it is woven together in many different ways within one strand and then it's woven together into inner connecting strands and then you pretty much have a bunch of different cushions that and like epoxy that binds it all together and that's what your march is you have that strong fiber which is your base and that is your t10s and your t9s and they're woven together and then Having those T8s to those T2s is like having the epoxy. It really fills in the holes, fills in the gaps, and it really solidifies the strength of that material <coughs> and that march capacity. So I really hope that guys that helps you guys as far as your march setup goes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, if you have questions, um, don't for, for don't hesitate to ask. I'm leaving my Discord channel link in the description for this live stream as well as in the videos I will be putting them in. Go ahead and join. 
never hesitate to ask. I have a special room uh, specifically just for asking questions for account help. Send some pictures and I'll do everything I can to help you guys out. I really appreciate all the support. Don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest videos. This is Captain Cowboy.